that's it. That's the intro. What is up guys, Butter Something here. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Scar H that was just announced by Battlestate Games today, the 11th of March. Um, sometimes I forget what month we're in. <laughs> Years moving pretty fast. But that being said, they've announced the Scar H. How do we know it's the Scar H? We can see it right there. Um, then we also know that it is a 762 by 51. This is a little bit better picture to really put that to rest. Um, that being said, uh, they've announced it. We've known that this was something that was going to potentially be in the game. If you go into the hideout and go into first person mode and look at your, not workbench, but your stash, you'll see that there's a little poster that does have a, a picture of a Scar H on it. So we know that eventually it was going to come and going to be added to the game. We just didn't know when. So that being said, we now officially know that it is added and, or sorry, not added yet it is going to be added but we don't know exactly when if i had to make a guess of when it was going to be added probably going to be added with streets of tarkov and the reason that i say that is as we know the lapua the ump and the vector were about sick teased for six months the vector and the ump a little bit more than that probably almost a year um or like nine months and we didn't see them till we got a woods update or a major kind of update and wipe to the game so whenever our next wipe is, I assume that this will probably be added. And if it is not next wipe, it's whatever wipe we probably are going to get the um, Streets of Tarkov map with. So where are we going to get this gun from? Most likely, we'll probably get this gun from the new map, from either the factions that are going to be on that map. And if you don't know anything about the factions on that map, definitely watch the video that I'm linking above as well as potentially from the two new scav bosses that'll be on that map. Yes, you heard me right. There's two new scav bosses on that map. Again, I have that link for you above. You guys can click on that link and that'll give you all the information you need to know so far about Streets of Tarkov. But I think that'll be the way that we will obtain it in raid. Out of raid, we will probably need to complete a quest first to be able to lock it, unlock this weapon from Peacekeeper, seeing as how the Lapua was locked behind a quest and the Ash-12 was also locked for purchase behind a quest. The quest for the Ash-12 required you to find some items in raid, which is the big tank shells as well as the military tank battery. And then the Lapua is 25 kills of um, Sturman. So... These look really, really good. Very excited about it. Um, but I do believe that we will probably have to eliminate a certain scab boss or get a certain amount of kills or something like that for that specific quest. Lastly, I do want to say that this will definitely have more customization than the vector and the UMP. We can already see just by like this photo that it will have obviously top sights. We'll be able to have a foldable stock, a new grip, probably an extended mag. An under barrel, side barrels as well. I'm trying to rotate it like I'm in game. Jeez, I'm a boomer. And then we also have um, different different muzzle um, attachments, as well as we definitely will be able to have a suppressor on this one. So very excited about that, and we'll see what comes of this. But definitely very very excited. One of my favorite weapons in any FPS game. Uh, are you guys excited about this? Let me know in the comments below. Is there any weapon that you're still waiting for? Also put that in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video and this was helpful information for you, definitely make sure to leave a like. If you already knew this, but you wanted to watch anyway, I definitely appreciate the support. That's it for the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.